Welcome everyone to Daily Prayer. I'm so glad that you could join me again for another day of prayer unto God. I hope your day is going well so far and just I just bless you in the name of the Lord to have a beautiful wonderful day and I want you that we're going to go ahead and get started and uh, go ahead and grab your Bibles and turn over to Psalms 34. Psalms 34 and uh, verse uh, Psalms 34 start at verse 1. Amen. And while you're doing that, I just want to tell you that I just thank God for us this time that we have together to pray together because the word says where there are two or more gathered together in his name, he will be in the midst of it. So he, if he's there, he's going to answer our prayers. So that's why it's so important for us to have prayer partners, people we can pray with in the Lord. And I'm, I'm glad for you. And, and, you know, and I know that both of us linking up together, you know, we're going to see results when we, when, after we pray, we're going to see the hand of God move in our lives. Amen. Amen. Okay. So let's start at Psalms 34, one, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around about them that fear and deliver that fear him and delivereth them O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good blessed is the man that trusteth in him O oh, fear the Lord you his saints for there is no want to them that fear him the young lions do lack and suffer hunger but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing amen and we're going to stop there at verse 10 and there's a lot to unpack there but we're going to just take the highlights let's look at this here it says that when it, david says it he will bless the lord at all times so he's blessing the lord continually and his the blessing of the lord is continually in his mouth and notice this that as he does that right that that is a called maybe you could say a sacrifice of praise and the bible calls that particular praise a sacrifice because sometimes you know your body you may just something may have a hold of your, on your mouth literally almost or something has a hold on you that you just don't want to praise but if you just be determined to give that sacrifice of praise it'll bless you and it'll del and and that and God you'll see the hand of God deliver him and as a matter of fact he said he sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. You see, there's power when you praise the Lord. And then it says that it says that when they look to him or when he looked to him, his faces, his face was lightened. In other words, there was ample evidence of him being in the presence of God by the light and the glow on his face. And, uh, you know, and, and and he was not ashamed. So that situation did not shame him because he was under the auspice, the covering of God. And it says the angel of the Lord encamps around about them that fear him and he delivers them. So just know that when you fear the Lord, you have angelic activity around you. This is what David is testifying to. These, this is the word of God. So this is what you can come to expect when you obey the Lord. Amen. And it says that Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. There is, when you trust in the Lord, there is a blessing. You are blessed when you trust the Lord. You know, there's many things that you can trust and lean on out there. But when you trust the Lord, you will be blessed. And it says, fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no want to them that, that fears him. Not only is there angelic activity, but there is no want to those that fear the Lord. Amen amen come on and believe it and then it says the young lions will lack 
and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Whether you whether you're able or whether you're not, when you when you when you seek the Lord, you will not want any good thing. Amen. So come on, saints, let's just pray right now. I'm going to pray over you and let's just agree together. Come on, Father, we thank you for this day, another day that you've given to us. And we're so glad, Father, that you are with us today. And we just give glory. Father, I thank you that you said where there are two or more gathered in your name, you are in the midst of us. So we welcome you here, Spirit of the living God. We're asking you, Lord, Jesus that you would come even now even now spirit of God we look for you we look to you we invite you we long for you we want to be with you Lord Jesus we give you the glory and the praise and we just say we will bless the Lord at all times and let your praise continually be in our mouths lord god you deserve all the praise and all the glory all the honor and the adoration all the worship thank you lord come on saints come on come on and bless the lord come on come on now come on and join me in prayer father i thank you that you are answering prayers even now those things spoken and unspoken father i ask that you would just bless my dear friend today holy spirit i ask that you would come even now lord let your presence come let lord we ask you we we were so honored to be in your presence holy spirit we will we are so honored to be in your presence jesus so we look to you to come even now spirit of god we look to you to come even now yes come on come on saints come on and join me in prayer and praise unto god lord i thank you that you are in the midst of us spirit of god we long for a fresh touch lord i ask that you would touch my dear friend and their families lord their parents their children in the name of jesus their spouses everything they put their hands to today lord i ask you for a blessing that you would bless them today in the name of jesus lord that you would come upon us lord god that you would walk with us lord god that you would have your way in us lord god lord let us be a blessing to others god lord fill us today lord deliver us from demonic activity lord that may be happening around or in us god in the name of jesus lord we ask you lord to forgive us lord father we just say we just repent for any sins known and unknown god Lord God, in the name of Jesus, if there's any unconfessed sin, Father, I ask that you would bring it to our attention so that we can repent for those sins in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, saints. Come on now. Let the just just listen to the Spirit of God as He talks to you. Father, I ask you, Lord, that you would have mercy on us today, Lord. Lord, I ask you that you would have mercy on us today. Have mercy on our families today, Lord. Have mercy on our loved ones today, Lord. Lord, I ask that you would provide provision today, Lord. We ask you for financial blessings blessings today lord god in the name of jesus lord there is no good thing that you will withhold from those that walk upright lord and those that fear the lord shall not lack any good thing and so we thank you for this today for providing for us lord lord i thank you for give for providing for us according to your riches and glory by your son christ jesus our master and lord and savior and god we give the praise to you in jesus name
Shete rebeke, no robota raba, harabata, robota ko honaba rebete, robota ko ramayaraba sata, robata haraba. Jesus, you are the Lord. And we worship you, we worship you, we worship you today, Lord. We give you praise in Jesus' holy name. All right, my brothers and sisters, I'm so glad again that you could join me. And if you're listening to this broadcast for the first time and you don't know Jesus as your Lord, then today is your day. I want you to pray a prayer with me and we're going to lead you to Jesus. All right, so repeat after me. Say, Dear God, I am a sinner and I come to you and I want to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I ask you, Lord, to forgive me of all my sins that I've ever committed. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord. I believe that Jesus hung on a cross and then was buried and died and then buried and then rose on the third day. And is now seated in heavenly places at your right hand. Thank you, Lord. I am, I have, I am born again. Amen. Amen. All right. Now, just let me pray for you, Father. I ask that you would fill each and every person that just received the Holy Spirit. I ask that you would fill them today with your spirit from on high and raise them up, Lord, to be preachers, teachers, Lord, evangelists, prophets, Lord, Lord, those ministers of the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, my brothers and sisters. I'm again, I'm so glad that you were with me today. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a wonderful and blessed day in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bye-bye.